15 with news stories you won't see on any other station. 505 right now. More than two miles of road folks in Cleveland don't feel safe for. News 5 told you about the attempts to bring down the speed limit along Franklin Boulevard on the west side. Well, now the E-Team's Kevin Berry has learned the latest plan to make drivers to go slower is to change how the road looks. State law says that any road that's longer than a mile, like Franklin Boulevard, needs to have a posted speed limit of 35 miles an hour. Drivers already go much faster than that, so the plan now is to see if these changes will help. Walks in the warm weather. It's kind of nerve wracking because of how fast people go. Are just a little harder, Sabrina Kim says, because of the traffic on Franklin Boulevard. And so this is 2.2 miles. Councilman Matt Zone agrees. He says the 35 mile an hour speed limit is just too high. People go 40, 45, 50. We're just like walking down the street and then people just go zipping right past you. The process to change the speed limit is challenging because state law says Franklin is so long, the posted speed limit needs to be 35. So the city, along with regional and neighborhood groups, are taking new street designs for a test drive on the residential roads for the first time. They'll use traffic cones and barriers to mimic extended curbs or even redirect traffic off Franklin entirely and onto roads better built to handle more cars. Putting in these temporary demonstrations, it's going to show how uh, drivers responded to those techniques. Planners say since they're using existing equipment and personnel already on staff, it won't cost the taxpayer anything more. Planners don't know exactly where the temporary structures will go, but they'll install equipment for three weeks in July. Councilman Zone says whatever they learn in Cleveland, they'll be able to apply elsewhere, too. I'm Kevin Barry for the E-Team.